Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Big Green Tractor. And it starts off with this killer little lead lick, actually, we'll end up capoing this on second fret to kind of match the, the chords we'll walk through. But it starts with this killer lick, and I'm talking real frets uh, for this lick. So you start ninth fret on the D, 11 on the G string is a bend, and another bend, and then 12 on the B, 11 is a bend on the G, 9 on the G, and back to 11. And then an 11 9 pull off on the G into an 11 bend and an 11 9 pull off and another pull off and then 11 on the D and then 9 to 11 is a hammer arm on the D 9 on the G twice and then 9 on the D string as a slide to 11. So it's a couple different cool little licks there put together. You got the 9 11 bend. Kind of follow those notes, you can pause the video and look at the tab. But we we'll end up capoing this on the second fret to kind of match the re recording actually with, with our chords. And I have to walk through a couple of the chord things in reposition just in case you know how to cape them. And we'll start on a D major chord. We'll only do this first finger on the G second, second finger on the high E second, and third finger on the B string third. And if you show them the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord. It sounds really, really happy. Now, around D's in general, you may want to lift the second finger and you got a D suspended second, or you can add in the pinky on the high E third for a D suspended and kind of say some things around the D chord. And then from the D, we'd be going to an A major chord. I normally do this first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B second. And if you strum all those together, all the beautiful sounds of A major. Now, you may also dig on lifting off the third finger, making that A suspended second. Or you get added in the pinky on the B third for an A suspended chord and kind of say some things around the A chord. Or you may dig on an A7 sus where you can do first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Kind of work that for, for, for your A major. So you can kind of dig on that voice instead. And then from the A, we can go to an E minor chord. And normally you do this first finger on the A second, second finger on the D second. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an E minor chord, that sounds really sad. Um, and now you may also dig on putting the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, kind of working that for your E minor seven. And then there's this cool quick hit, actually, um, where you'll kind of hear the bass kind of walk from the low E string to second fret on the low E string to third fret on the low E string. So it's a little E, F sharp, G, it's kind of this cool little run. And you may want to back that up with a D major chord but cover the low E string second fret for the F sharp note, kind of moving from the E minor to help lead to a G major chord. Or you could use a D sus slash F sharp by doing first finger on the low E second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. So we kind of dig on that. And then from there, that kind of leads us into a G major chord. I normally do this first finger on the A second, second finger on the low E third, third finger on the high E third. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. Sounds really happy. And you may also dig on putting the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Can I work in that for your G major? And through the intro, if, if, there's a couple different ways you can kind of work this. If you're doing downs, you'd have kind of a D, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, A, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. E minor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then go to the D sus for that last down, and then you got kind of a big G chord. So it's weird because the E minor and the D slash F sharp kind of half, kind of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G, kind of, kind of for that hit. Or you could use a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a four four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took a D and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, which is kind of a slow pace for the tune. And on the E minor D slash F sharp, you may want to do a down. Down, up, up, down, and then hit the D slash slash F sharp on the last up before you go into the G chord. So you have the D down, up, up, down, A down, up, up, down, 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 up, D slash slash F sharp, G. After the intro, or for myself, what was feeling really good is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, Right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 
sixteenth note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is we take the D and do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. And on the second beat, you do it down on one, down on three, up on four. So we went down, down. slash F sharp is you may want to do the E minor with a down, 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 up, up, down, and then hit the down, and then go to the D sus slash F sharp on the up. Kind of just make it just that much. Down, 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 up, down, down, to help lead into the G. So all the way through the intro. we'd be going into our first verse. We start out on the D major chord, but then we go to an A major, but you kind of hear the C sharp note on the A string, fourth fret, kind of come out on, on the A chord. So you could just think of it as an A, or you could cover the A with the first finger over the D, G, and B, and take the third finger and go to the A fourth fret to get that C sharp note in there. Now another cheat on that, actually, you could even stay on the D chord, Try and get your pinky to stretch to that A string on the fourth fret. And that's a pain in the butt for me. There's a D slash C sharp is what that would be called. I have a D chord but with the C sharp in the base. I think it's easier to jump in the bar. And then from there we go to a B minor chord. And normally we'll talk about some easy options here too. But normally you do second fret bar, second finger on the B third, third finger on the D fourth, pinky on the G fourth. If you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord. It sounds really really sad. You may also dig on lifting off the pinky, making that a B minor 7, or another way to play B minor 7. We'll be doing first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the high E second. Not working that for your B minor. Or if you're digging on the A sus, that the A7 sus voicing, you can do first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Kind of work that for your B minor. Or you may even dig on lifting off the pinky of that and work it as a B minor 11. Which would be kind of a cool option too. So through that verse, actually the from the B minor, the, this is a little weird, we end up halving a G and an A. So if you're doing your, your downs, you'll end up with kind of four downs on each of those chords. It's kind of an even split. Or if you're doing your down, down, up, up, down, up, you'd have kind of a down, down, up on the G and A. So if you try to through the verse that way, you'd have the D. takes that, that G and A with the even split on the end of the first phrase 
And then on the second phrase, we kind of end up bringing back our E minor to the D slash F sharp. And actually, you may want to even it out. If you're doing the downs, it may end up feeling more like a down, 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 six, plus two, before a big hit on the G. If you're doing the down, down, up, up, down, up, it'd be like E minor, down, up, up, maybe on the last down, up. And hit that D slash F sharp before the G. So we try it with the down, down, up, up, down, up. minor D change, you may want to do the down, 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 up, up, down, and then save the last down, up, down, up, for your D, so I slow, slow, slow. Mixing up those parts through the song, actually, kind of our bridge is kind of a variation. But what, um, the weird part is, uh, to play along with the recording, instead of starting on a D, it's really starting on an E major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 2nd fret, then now your D is really an E major chord, and your A major is really a B major chord, and your E minor is really a G sharp minor, and your D slash F sharp is really a E major slash G sharp. And your G is really an A major chord, and the B minor chord is really a C sharp minor chord. But to take it from the very beginning on the intro, actually, you have kind of that D. into a little instrumental section, actually, just a really quick D and an A chord. Now, one other thing I think about adding this song, though, is bass notes, and a lot of times on that first down, of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you throw in a bass for the chord. So on the D, you'd have the D for the bass. On the A, you'd have the A string for the bass. Unless you're doing the A slash so G sharp, in which case you still have the A string for the bass. And on the B minor, you'd have the A for the bass. On the E minor, you'd have low E for the bass. On the D slash slash F sharp, you don't really do low E for the bass. Try that intro that way, you'd have just kind of that quick bass down, 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 A. It's kind of that little instrumental break. Or if you're digging all the 16ths, you could work it off a bass down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, or a bass, bass, down, down, up, up, down, 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 or a bass, bass, down, down, up, 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 bass, down, up, down. So try it that way, you'd have.
else is half as long as the, the last one. <laughs> so we have D. Oh, and we can do that with a bass down up, down up. With D. second chorus actually instead of just the big stop come on the G you'll kind of hear a G and an A hat at the very end to kind of help lead into the bridge so we tried that with bass down up up down up we have a D of how you could play through Big Green Tractor. So, good luck. 